Okay, the, this is the uh, third question we're going to look at. It's uh, for the grade 11 um, trade uh, revision for the January, uh, January, March 5th workshop, Saturday workshop we're doing. And we're going to look at a reduction uh, question, a general reduction question, where they're looking at X all over the place. Well, I have this way of doing these questions, you know, and I always think of where is the angle? Where is the angle? Figure out what the angle, where the angle is. Uh, think about what's the reference of the angle. And in this one, with general ones, it's really easy. The reference is always just X. But then you have to figure out, once you figured out where it is, you should be able to figure out the sign using that all stations to Cape Town thing, or maybe just thinking about X and Y. Well, let's just get started, and I'll show you how I do this. So the cosine of negative X. Well, here's zero. I just pretend X is kind of like a 45 degree angle and that, this it makes it all work. I bend down here, some acute angle, uh, because when you go clockwise, you're moving in the negative direction. That's where minus X is. You're in the fourth quadrant. And I know in the fourth quadrant, cosine is positive. So the cosine of minus X turns into the cosine of positive X. And you get a full mark for that. It's so easy. This one's a little trickier. X minus 180 degrees. Well, first, an angle of X means you bend up into the first quadrant. There I've been. Right here, there's X. Now, minus 180 degrees means bend all the way down a straight line, right? So it's pointing the other way. That puts me in the third quadrant. And I know that tangent is positive in the third quadrant. So the tangent of X minus 180 just turns into the tan of X. The reference angle is just X, so the tan of X. Well, let's do the next one. Hey, 90 plus. Whenever I see 90 degrees plus or 90 degrees minus X, it's called the co-function. And you switch. The sine of 90 plus X is actually the same as the sine of X. My only problem is, look, it's the sine of X. Cosine just changes to the sine of X. But what's the sine? Well, if I'm up here at 90, and then I bend counterclockwise into the um, second quadrant, cosine's negative there. So this cosine of 90 plus, L, 90 plus X must be a negative number. So that's why it's negative, the sine of X. Whenever you see 90, switch from cosine to sine. And just for this one, 90 plus X, change it to negative. Now 180 minus X, that's an easy one. 180, and then you bend clockwise up, you're in the second quadrant. Sine's positive there, so the sine of 180 minus x is the same as the sine of, sine of x. Now the last one, the tangent of minus x. Well, there I am. I knew where I am. At minus x, I'm in the fourth quadrant. And you should know the tangent is negative there. So it's minus the tan. There should be an x there. Minus tan x. Okay, now how do we simplify this? Well, we've got tan x and tan x, it just cancels. Sin x and sin x, it cancels. All you're left with is cos x. And a negative divided by a negative is positive. So, the final answer is just cosine x. And I hope that helps.